Hello everyone. Welcome back to knowledge sharing series using Raspberry Pi, Node-RED and IoT. In this section, we are going to discuss about how to install MySQL on Raspberry Pi, which is quite important for any kind of database activities. Let us see friends, how can we install MySQL server on the Raspberry Pi platform? If you are on the Raspberry Pi, if you have connected Raspberry Pi with your LCD or LED and you have keyboard and mouse, then start the particular terminal and follow the commands. If you are working remotely, then connect your Raspberry Pi with the PuTTY or some other uh, terminal software and you can have the terminal or command line. So let's start uh, executing some commands step by step to install the MySQL server the very first thing is uh, you should uh, convert it into the sudo su so that you have the root permission after that it is always advisable to execute the command called uh, apt get update once the execution will be over i suggest to execute the command called apt get upgrade i have already done it and uh, that is the reason i am not wasting the time in uh, showing you the progress bar it is most common right so this is the thing you the very first two commands for each and every installation you should perform on raspberry pi next you are supposed to execute this command to install the particular mariadb server it is nothing but an mysql server for your raspberry pi as soon as you execute this command it may ask you some sort of permission and some sort of password so please follow that and you can easily uh, complete the whole procedure for installing the server only after this we have to follow some more commands let us see that once the installation is completed you must execute this command to set the password for your root to access the mysql otherwise it is a plain installation without password so that anyone can easily access the next step is to log into that particular database server using this command and using the username root as soon as you go ahead and you enter this it will ask you for the password enter the password you have set it and now this is what the mysql database for your raspberry pi now whatever you want to do you can start executing the queries executing the commands and you can create and delete the databases and tables but now before this uh, you should uh, actually create the particular now let's create a database using this command and uh, i hope this command is very well known by the people who are quite familiar with the mysql database so the particular database has been created now uh, before we go ahead uh, there are some things which is like a permission we need to give a permission to the new user rather than the root user for the security purpose so use this command where i have i am creating the user user1 at the local host that is the same computer and i am giving a password called 123456 this command must execute inside the database so again uh, you can see this particular uh, query was executed so now user1 has been created and with the password 123456 now we need to give the privilege to that user so that the user one can access the particular database so grant all privileges on test db the database name and the user one at the red local host again the query is executed so there is no error inside this and at the end we need to clear the previous privileges so i am creating or i am executing the last query that is the flush privilege so friends uh, remember all these commands and check the output now after this whenever you are using the username in node red then that would be user 1 so after the flush privilege command everything works perfectly all the commands are mentioned in the description kindly execute such kind of commands to work with the database and please make sure that you are not using the root user to access your database i hope it is a small and easy video to explain you how to install the database on raspberry pi please subscribe the channel to get the regular updates on knowledge series thank you